It is great to be here tonight with you, my friends, on another Taco Tuesday for Magicians. If you're here for the first time, well, you're not alone. We've got all these beautiful people watching along in the All Things Magic Lounge. This is our private chat room for All Things Magic group members only. Um, that is something that we do for our friends over there. So, yes. Also, I'm seeing a happy birthday for Davey. Davey also just had a birthday. So, happy birthday going out to our friend Davey Rocket as well. The other birthday boy, I guess they're sharing the birthdays over there. So, happy birthday to you as well, my friend. All right. So, what do we do on Taco Tuesday for Magicians? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> uh this is our our chance to hang out for about the next hour or so uh we are going to talk about some magic tricks that are handpicked for you and as a reminder everything that we talk about everything we show you tonight and on our website is only curated handpicked stuff been around magic for over 30 years um and i don't just like it i love it and so i do the hard work for you i find the good stuff and that's all we offer you the rest of the stuff you can have wherever else but not here not at all things magic it's only the good stuff um, that's what we do. Also got some magic news for you, some Vegas news, some other fun stuff. And we have, of course, your giveaways on our free will. And of course, for our star supporters, we also have some giveaways if we hit our goal. And we'll do some giveaways along the way as well. If you missed out on last week, we had special guest Nicholas Lawrence joining us from the Philippines. It was a whole lot of fun. And you can catch the replay of that on our YouTube channel. And of course, if you're watching on Facebook, you can watch it on our Facebook page too. But it was a lot of fun. We chat, you know, did a good chat about an hour and a half about creativity. So if you've ever wanted to get a few tips and also see some sneak peeks of magic coming out soon from Nicholas Lawrence, be sure to check out his chat with us last week. We'll bring you a little segment of that here coming up shortly as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, the first thing though tonight I want to tell you about is something brand new that I will be using in my own working repertoire. And speaking of that, I've been doing a lot of performing recently. Last Tuesday, we did not have a show because I was down on the Vegas Strip. I was over at Mandalay Bay doing a corporate gig. So last Tuesday, we bumped that to Thursday. I was out performing. Also performing last Wednesday over at Paris. Uh, and so I was pretty busy last week. And this is something I 100% will start using in my own work. And you might be asking yourself, well, Luke, what is it? Stop telling me, you know, that you're going to use it. What, what is it? Well, my friends, glad you asked. It is called perception. And I actually have a trick of my own called perception. It's not a marketed effect, but I love the plot. Uh, this is F-bomb approved. For our friends that know, you know that we don't do that with every trick. It's like the special stuff. It's really, really good. This one is kind of a free will type of thing. Uh, what's great about it is they can, you borrow the objects that you use, you have five of them, and then you're able to predict which one they were going to name. Now there's more to it than that, so stay tuned. I'm gonna give you a quick look at what this is, but if you love workable stuff, you love practical stuff, um, that's also quick to reset and repeatable, you are in the right spot with this one. This is called Perception from Richard Griffin. Enjoy. Goes to money, pen, ring, phone, and keys. Have you got one in your mind? At this moment, is there anyone up to know which one of these you're, you're thinking about? So now, Zoe, in a second, I'm going to get you to pick whatever object it is in your mind, pick it up, put it in your hand like this. We'll all be able to see what you go for, but I want you to hold it exactly like this in your hand, okay? So, think about it, long and hard, five objects, your objects, your random objects. Zoe, whenever you're ready, reach in, grab one out. Pick it up, put it in your hand. Go. Perfect, okay. Like this, happy? Is there anyone I can know? You've gone for the money. Yes. <laughs> and just think about how impossible this is. You could have picked some up, you could have changed your mind a million times. Ready? Ready, ready Zoe? I knew you would go for the money. That's what I wrote for. Oh my god! Let's get that in there again. So there money come. That's it, friends. That's perception. As you saw, there's a lot to love about it. So let's do a quick mini magic review of this for you. So with perception, 
as you saw, you lay out five items that you borrow. Now keep in mind, the, the objects that you just saw, you don't have to use every time. You can customize this to be anything. Uh, on the trailer, they also recommend you can do this with ESP symbols. You could do it with playing cards. You could do it with words, names, whatever the heck you want. Um, but probably the most practical way to do it is just to have the objects from the spectators that you're going to use, like the phone, a wallet, a card, keys, and all that normal stuff. Um, but what's great about it is, well, there's a lot that's great about it, um, is that this is instantly repeatable, which means you're also able to reset it right in front of your spectators. So there is a different outcome every time. Normally, as magicians, we don't like to repeat things that we do, but with this one, I think it might be okay because you're actually proving that it's not just a coincidence. You're actually able to predict and zone in on exactly what they are thinking of. Um, so that is important to note. The gimmick that you receive does pretty much all the work for you. So sorry if you're looking for something knuckle busting, something that's really hard to do, this is not that. Because it's easy, very easy to do, uh, and the gimmick works for you. Also, this is a pack, small, play, big thing. As you see, you're performing this for a group, which is great. Uh, and the other nice thing is everything fits in a pocket. Really, really com compact and convenient for you to use out in public. So um, think about this again. A practical working piece of magic. The gimmick does all the work for you. You can repeat it. You totally can. Instant reset because you can reset it in front of the spectators and they'll never know. Um, so there is a chance to do it again. If someone says, oh, what was he just doing? Do it again. You're able to do it again right away. So uh, that's perception. Everything you need is included. You do not have to purchase anything extra. Uh, I guess the only thing you really need to supply is your own Sharpie so you can write down the prediction. Uh, but that is what we have here. Uh, looks pretty cool. It's not pretty cool. It's really cool. It is F-bomb approved. And if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to ask. Of course, we don't reveal how stuff works, but we definitely tell you about the good stuff that we do stock here. So um, I like this a lot. It's not a card trick. It's something different. It feels very organic. It feels very impromptu, which is another reason I like it. Um, even though it's not totally impromptu, it looks like it. And you're able to borrow those objects to perform the effects. It just has a nice feel to it. Get a good three to five minutes out of it, and they will never see it coming. So there you go. It's good to see you out there, Mr. Berman. Um, are there refills needed? The only refills that you'll need eventually, because it does come with quite a supply, um, are just the post-it pads. And they give you a lot of extra ones here to use along the way. So that's the only thing needed to um, a refill here are just regular post-it pads. And you know how cheap those are and how easy they are to get on the Amazon you know, online shopping out there. So that's another thing that's good to know. So thanks for asking that question about it um, when it comes to the refills. So yeah, anything else you guys want to know, feel free to ask. Um, but I do love this one a lot. And it is F-bomb approved. And I, I will personally be using this because I really do think that it's something that people will enjoy. And it's one of those things that doesn't feel like anything else I currently do. It's a nice little prediction effect. So there you go. That is magic review time for Perception. <laughs> From Richard Griffin. All right, so that is our first of our three picks tonight. We do our top three picks for you every single week. Some of it's new, some of it's back in stock, and it might be new to you. That's our first new one for tonight. All right. It is now time, my friends, to do our very first, well, it's been a little while, uh, our first free giveaway of the night. <laughs> Welcome back to the big old prize wheel. If you are just getting here, say when to be added to our free giveaways tonight. Of course, as always, we do a couple of these. So if you're just getting here and you missed out on getting in, uh, we will be doing other giveaways throughout the evening. Um, I just added you, Mr. Sam Hodges. I saw Sam just popping on, so good to see you, Sam. Uh, we also have a couple other friends to add here. Yes, we will spin in just a sec. I gotta get Eric over on the YouTubes. Added here, Eric Canfield. Thank you for joining us tonight. We'll get you added up here. And we will go ahead and get this done once I add David De Herrera. All right, good to see you, David. Thanks for joining us this evening. Uh, Paul Knight is another friend out there watching over on, looks like he's on the Facebooks tonight. Good to see you, Paul Knight. Uh, Joe Berman wants to know if he is on. You are, Joe. You can see your name right over there. So you are all set on our free giveaways. All right, Tom, uh, we got you added over here as well. Thank you for being here tonight. Uh, if I misspell your names, my friends, I, I do say I'm sorry. I'm a one-man show, and I do my best to add your names as quickly as possible. All right. 
There's Peter Nile, our big winner from last week. He won a $100 prize for being one of our star supporters. Congratulations to Peter, and thank you for being here tonight, Peter. Always good to see you. Uh, i got to add you as well to our free giveaways here. But Peter Nile, there you go. You are all set. Uh, Ken, I got you over here. Ken Dunn, you can see your name right there. All righty. So as I said, we'll be doing other free giveaways. So if you're not on here yet, don't worry. There are other chances for you. But let's shuffle this up. As you notice on our free will, not only do we have all of your names, most of you, we also have a couple of these guys. You can see the little yellow spots. Those are the whammies. Those are the guys that if we land on one of them, there is no prize. There is no giveaway for that spin. So we don't want to see these guys. You know, that's just no fun. But they are there to keep it interesting, to keep it fun, keep you on your toes, whether or not we're going to have a winner. So let's go ahead and shuffle it one more time here. And let's see who our first winner of the night is. Hopefully, no whammies. All right. Let us see on Taco Tuesday for Magic. I think we're good on this one. I'm feeling good. I don't see any whammies coming out of the end there. So we'll be all right. Let's see who we got here. We got Tyler to the Fergus. We got Tyler Fergus. Congratulations, Congratulations Mr. Tyler. Just a reminder, we are doing a free magic download for the first giveaway of the night. So that's what we just did. Win a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Going out to Mr. Tyler Fergus. All right. So Tyler, drop us an email, info at allthingsmagic.com to claim your free magic download. We will send it over to you. Our team will handpick one for you and get it over to you right away. As always, give our team 24, 40 hours. Give us a day or two to get back to you. We have a team handling a lot of different things, so we appreciate your patience. And as a reminder to all of you, too, you have one week to claim your prizes around here, so don't miss out. Be sure to get in if you are one of our winners tonight, just like Tyler. So there we go, Mr. Tyler Fergus. All right. Got to add Claude Wyatt out there. I see Claude watching tonight. We got Claude watching. Jason R. Smith. I just saw Jason last night, one of the newest uh, residents here in Las Vegas. Glad to have him out here. Uh, nice to see him in the Vegas area now. Get to hang out with Jason and hopefully Jake a little bit more before he hits the road again. So, yes. All right. So, uh, along the way, friends, don't forget we are looking for a goal tonight. We're looking to hit this goal below me here. We're about 21% of our goal tonight. Um, what happens if we do that? Well, first of all, the way that we, you, you help us get to our goal is by donating stars. Now, if you're watching on um, YouTube, unfortunately, we don't have YouTube uh, Super Chats. We don't have those available right now. Um, however, we do offer the same type of thing um, over on the Facebooks, and we will put you the link right now to purchase those stars. And if you donate them, you get added to a special giveaway which could have tonight over $300 of free magic just for you donating your stars. It's a $2 minimum to get in, so 200 stars to get in. Um, but we do, we do that uh, along the way too for smaller giveaways if we don't hit the big giveaway. So let's see what we do uh, tonight. So there's the stars, pop it in there if you wanna grab those, we have them for you, all right? So it is now time for a little bit of magic news for you. Let's do it to it. Got some fun stuff to tell you about. As I teased you earlier, there is some Vegas magic news to share with you. Uh, this is the cutest damn thing I've seen in a really, really long time. Um, friend of all things magic, Matt Franco, a Vegas headliner. Um, his kiddo, he's got a little baby boy. You might not know that, but his baby boy's growing up real quick. And this was cute to see his son. At the end of the show, you know, Matt and his crew, they're getting the crowd hyped up and all that fun stuff. This is his kiddo. The cutest damn thing. <laughs> Matt doesn't see it yet. He doesn't see it yet. But his kiddos. Now Matt's like, oh wait. <laughs> awesome. But what? this is my favorite part. The kiddos throw class. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god. Cutest thing ever. So uh, I will say too, 
Uh, Matt Franco is one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Uh, and he's got one of the best shows in Vegas. They just did a whole new production. You can see a little bit here, uh, whole new lighting and the props and the set and the whole stage setup. It looks beautiful. Um, but Matt also is a true student of magic and loves it. And it shows when he's performing for his life. A little bit more Matt Franco news though. This is exciting. Keep your eyes out on the Kelly Clarkson show tomorrow. Yes, my friends, if you've seen the 40-year-old virgin movie, you know Kelly Clarkson. You know, Steve Carell, when he's getting the, uh, the old waxy waxy, this is the lady that he was calling out. Kelly Clarkson, Matt Franco's popping up over there tomorrow. We'll have that for you on the All Things Magic website. I have a video for you, um, so we'll be promoting that tomorrow as well. But keep an eye out if you want to watch it on the telly tomorrow. Uh, Matt Franco popping up over there, going to wow them with some magic. Um, looks like he's got his own wheel over here. What will he do? You will have to wait and find out until tomorrow. But Matt's a great guy and one of our favorites around here at All Things Magic. So keep an eye out for that. Manana, as they say. Manana. All right. So love to see that type of stuff going around. Uh, some other magic news that you might have missed. Uh, this is some fun stuff for you. Uh, Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas has a place called the Magic Island. This is kind of like a Magic Castle-esque type of place, but it is totally themed for like the Egyptian stuff, the pyramids, the Sphinx, all that fun stuff. Now, this has happened before, so I'm hoping this is true this time. Um, it closed down 15 years ago because of flooding. There was a tornado and it was just no good. It just totally gutted the place. So they have potentially gotten the place ready to reopen later this year in the fall. So if you're in the Houston area, this is something that I highly recommend you go and check out. Again, it's called Magic Island. I went 25 years ago with Danny Garcia uh, when I was visiting him over there in the Houston area. You can see here some of the Egyptian motif. Uh, they're trying to get the place ready again. They've got the theater set up. It looks like they're gonna have a nice new lounge area. You can see some of it here. Um, but the owner of this, uh, Dr. Mohammed Thari, has said that this is something that he's committed to getting done. Um, so that's exciting to hear. So yeah, you can see the, the space. Again, not exactly like the Magic Castle, but it's definitely Magic theme. And they have done a lot of work to get it ready again. Uh, whether it's electrical work or just the interior. Um, so we're very excited and hopefully we'll see more uh, Magic Island coming to fruition. Uh, this year, hopefully this is the year that they actually have it open, open again. So that would be cool. Uh, Corey Van Valen says, my buddy Peter Diamond opened up a Magic Island out in our area of Tampa for some time. I think every city needs one. I agree with that. We all need to see some good magic um, in, our, in our cities as well. Uh, as you can see too, we have our chat here with Nicholas Lawrence from last week. If you missed it, we've got a little segment here for you that I'll play for you in just a moment. Um, one of my favorite moments about creativity um, as well. So we'll go ahead and do that for you now. I asked him a question. You guys asked a lot of questions last week about um, creativity. Is it something that you're born with and you either have it or you don't? Or is there a way to, you know, find your way into it and foster that? And this was the way that he answered that question. Check it out. You know, a lot of people want to know, is creativity something that you're born with or is it something that you can learn and foster and actually be good at it with practice or by working on it or is it just something that you either have it or you don't that's a pretty common question when it comes to creativity you know it's funny to both of those questions i would honestly say both because i feel like some people are born naturally curious and i think curiosity is you know a good starting point you know for being creative but also yeah you can learn it you can definitely, I mean, it's, it's creativity is like a muscle, you know what I mean? Or you use it, the stronger you're going to become at it. You know, I, I try to give even friends advice. It's, it's usually just looking out for unique things, right? If you are naturally curious and you're, you're, you're the type of person who likes to ask why, what, where, what is that, you know, all those things, creativity is going to come from that, right? So even just learning new, different types of, you know, hobbies and, you know, if you're watching a movie and you ask yourself, how the hell did they pull that scene off and you research it? Well, just by doing that, that could spark something, right? 
So there you go, friends. If you'd like to, again, to watch the full chat with Nicholas Lawrence, more about creativity and also um, some sneak peeks. He showed you two of the new effects that he's putting out, sort of. He gave you a little sneak peek, and he also showed you the work on his brand new trick called uh, Anniversary Hearts, and it will surprise you if you haven't seen it. So check that out. We've got it for you on the All Things Magic website. That is, so visit us over there, allthingsmagic.com, or go directly to our YouTube channel and watch it over there. Just look for the All Things Magic YouTube channel, and you can watch that chat in its entirety. Um, from last week. So that was what we did on last week's show. We had our special guest, Mr. Nicholas Lawrence. And we thank him again for joining us. It was super early in the Philippines when he popped on and it was good to see him there. And good to see you out there, Anthony Davies. How we doing, Mr. Anthony? Nice to have you here. And any new faces out there like Anthony, I don't recognize Anthony, um, be sure to let us know where you're watching us from tonight. We have friends all over the world and we have friends just like this guy, Randy Cape in the house uh, joining us. Uh, along with another good friend of ours out here, Mr. Jack Murdoch. Good to see you, Jack. Hope all is well in the Jack Murdoch world. So we got you out there. 96 of you on our free wheel so far. If we end up with 100 plus, we are doing a bonus giveaway tonight. So help us hit a bonus giveaway of uh, more magic. All you need to do is share this into some of your favorite magic groups. Let your friends know we're watching. Help us hit that 100 plus mark and we will hook you up with more stuff. So go ahead and get that over there to some of your favorites like Magicians Only, uh, and some of those other big magic groups that are out there. We got Yitz out there. Good to see you, Yitz. It's been a minute. Hope you are doing well. Um, how are we doing out there? Tony D. Magic on the YouTubes. Nice to have you with us tonight. I got you added up. You're number 98. All right. The more people, the more stuff we will do for you. All right. So uh, something else that I wanted to tell you about tonight is that one of the people actually in the All Things Magic group, this was really cool to see. Uh, I didn't realize that one of my favorite people now, because he is actually a, the author of one of my new favorite books. Uh, this book is phenomenal, and it is called Stage by Stage from John Graham. We literally have one copy left. I'm not, sell, I'm not selling you on that to get you to buy it, but we only have one left, and we can't get more for quite a while. So if you want to get this book, get it now. Um, the reason I'm bringing this up is because we've had a lot of friends reading it, saying how much they enjoyed it. This was Mr. Cram out there. Um, this book will help you take your close-up magic to the next stage, to the bigger stage. Take your magic from close-up to stage parlor. Uh, the thinking here is uh, unbelievable. I've been enjoying the hell out of this myself, and there's some tricks in there that I think you will love. But if you've ever wanted to take your magic to play bigger, this is the resource for you. Uh, people like Michael Mayo, who's quite the book guy, he's given it the love. Uh, me giving it the love, John Shack also giving it some love. Um, the other reason that I wanted to mention this is because uh, John obviously is in the All Things Magic group. He says, uh, great job with the group, which I do appreciate very much, actually. Uh, and then I asked John, uh, would you be interested in joining me as a special guest sometime soon for one of our weekly shows? And he says, I'd be honored to. So we don't have it set in stone yet, but coming up here over the next, I would say, two, three weeks or so, uh, maybe the next month, we will have John Graham joining us because he's agreed to pop on. So John Graham not only has his amazing book, Stage by Stage, but another one that was highly recommended from my buddy Jeff Williams, who was one of our special guests um, about three weeks ago. His other book we have, which is totally keyed out, uh, it's called Encore. And Encore is the multiple selection act. Um, this is stuff that he takes smaller plots and makes them play big, but Encore is one of the best multiple selection routines ever, and he teaches you in detail how to do either the whole thing or part of it, or just the thinking that goes into this is absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful stuff. Uh, and I think we actually have a photo of the Encore book that's not keyed out here for you, uh, right over here. So this is what it looks like, it is green. Uh, so that is Encore, the Multiple Selection Act, which is also highly recommended from people like Aussie Wynn. Um, and you also have Jeff McBride giving this some love too. So if you ever want to do the Multiple Selection, um, this is the one to do. Uh, awesome book, Anything Deck Handling is incredible. Yes, from the Stage by Stage, yes. Uh, John Shack says, finished Stage by Stage on Sunday. I love it so much. Uh, indeed. Hopefully I'll get it next time they're in stock. Yeah, man, it's, it's too good. I uh, already have some questions for him. Yeah, so we're totally going to have John Graham on sometime soon is one of our special guests. But tonight, it is just us having fun 
doing the OG show. So like I said, we got one of these left as of right now, and then we have Encore in stock for you too. So wanted to mention that. It's exciting stuff, you know? I had no idea John was even an active member there, so that was pretty cool to, to see that. I, I love to see it when we have our uh, really, really good friends out there. Uh, they're doing the really good stuff, you know, the good magic, the good stuff. All right. So uh, we are 25% to our goal tonight. Thank you, my friends, for your support so far. We're going for a $300 close-up and minimalism bundle giveaway, so be sure to donate your stars to help us get closer to that goal. How are we doing out there, Mr. Masado? Good to see you. I got to get him on our wheel tonight. Let me just add Mr. Masado right there to our giveaway wheel. You make number 99, Mr. Masado. We're one away from 100. I know I'm feeling good about tonight. All right. It is now time for trick number two of our top three magic tricks tonight. Number two for you is another goodie. This one is another one that I found for you that not going to lie to you on this one either. We have very, very limited supply of these, and they are out of stock uh, pretty much everywhere else as well. So I wanted to go ahead and show you this one because it comes from a very creative guy, Mr. Mario Lopez, um, the guy that you might have seen doing a lot of the cigarette magic, and he did the, the vanishing nipple trick on Hulus. This guy is phenomenal. This is one of the best versions of card warp you will ever see. It's called the Pero Verde. The Pero Verde uh, from Mario Lopez. I'm going to give you a quick look at it. We've only got a couple of these left in stock, and I don't know when they'll be back in stock, but if you want to get it, don't miss out. Um, we have just a few of these, and this is what it looks like. Uh, enjoy Mr. Mario Lopez. I freaking love this. <laughs> Uh, look at this, look at this. Uh, I'm gonna show you a miracle. A miracle. The miracle of the red car that is going to vanish inside the blue one. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I have a red car, this is the one that is going to vanish, and it's going to vanish inside the inside the blue, the blue one. So, I put it there, clear, I close. I'm gonna press nasty. Here, nothing. Look at this. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is weird. Uh, this is not the idea. Uh, no, this is this. L let me come back. Uh, this is. Um, no, let me. Uh, let me come back. Uh, the idea is that the car um, is. It's not facing down, it's disappear. Here, nothing. Not weird. <laughs> not weird, but the, the, it's move, but it's... Okay, uh, let, do you wanna see how it is vanished? Let me, let me come back and uh, I, I read it again. The, the red car that Maybe, okay, sorry. Um, need, uh, um, I'm sorry, this is, this is, this is not the trick. Uh, 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 the idea is maybe another day because I need a, a red car to... Okay. Um, it's a beautiful trick with a red card that but maybe um I, I will I will show you um, another day okay uh, uh, another day okay I don't know but that doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> number one I love this guy I think Mario Lopez is freaking a genius and he's great I love his coin stuff uh, I love pretty much everything he does including the uh, version of Out Smoking from Ron Jackson that he does with the cigarette and the filter jumping to the end. It's, it's fantastic stuff. Um, but this is great. One of the best versions of Card Warp around. Very easy to do. And the fact that you're not having to tear the cards or do anything like that, uh, I think is a cool thing too. But anyway, I love this. Um, the gimmicks pretty much do the work for you. Um, so yes, it does look very cool, right, Mr. Brian Cornwall? Uh, Billy Efters is great trick by a great mind of magic. Agreed. Absolutely. Uh, this already gets four F-bombs. Man, that's a whole lot of F-bombs. Oh my God, that's 
It's a lot of F-bombs. Oh, my God! <laughs> uh, so there you go. That's another one of our hand-picked tricks this week. Uh, again, these are out of stock everywhere else, and we've only got a couple left. So if you want to grab yours, I'm going to refresh. Looks like we still have a couple left, so don't miss out on that one. That is the Perro Verde from Mario Lopez. A uh, great Spanish magician. He's one of those FISM winners, so when he puts stuff out, we definitely sit up and take notice. Oh, yes. I uh, want to also let you know tonight, my friends, we have our call-in open. If you want to ask any questions, if you wanted to ask anything, if you wanted to just pop on and say hello, I'm going to open up the chat lines as well if you guys are interested to join us tonight. Um, you are more than welcome to call in for that. Uh, that was really great, very creative. Indeed, I really like that a lot. I really like that one a lot. Um, so that is that. 25% uh, to our goal tonight. Let me see if that is accurate here behind the scenes. It looks like we are right at 25% of our goal tonight. All right, so don't forget to be one of our top donators and we will get you on our uh, $100 shopping spree giveaway next week. Uh, I was trying to get everything ready tonight. We will get that ready for next week. And thank you, Scott R. Smith, for dropping in another thousand, helping us inch a little bit closer to our star's goal of being. All right. Uh, let's see here what else I have for you. Of course, we're talking to you about tricks. Uh, I'd like to also give you stuff. Where are we at now with our giveaways? Let me check our free prize wheel. Thank you, Josh Huff, for also donating a few more. There we go. Thank you, Scott. All right. Who else did I miss? We got Mr. Masato. Got all of our friends. Paul and I, Tom. Brad Lowe. Brad Lowe, I think, will make the 100 mark on our free giveaway wheel this evening. So I think we've officially done it. We got a 100 people on our free wheel, which means bonus giveaway tonight. Uh, yes, thanks for the shout out, Luke. Been busy. My daughter just got married last week. Glad I could join. Nice, man. Well, congratulations on that. And thank you, Mr. Cram, as well, for the 1,000 stars. Uh, first time seeing this, I'm a bar magician. Generally works surrounded. Is that feasible with this? Mr. Tom, you're not going to want someone to be directly behind you for the Perro Verde. You're not going to want that. Okay. Uh, I will say, Tom, a few weeks ago, uh, we were showcasing the Jigger Knot. If you have not seen that as a bar magician, I cannot recommend this enough. It's one of my favorite things. One of my buddies was a bartender back in the day, and he was doing the old bar magic. And this was a staple in his works. So if you haven't seen this, uh, I wanted to show you this real quick. This is freaking awesome, Mr. Tom. This is a cups and balls routine done with a jigger and some olives. And you end up with the production of the uh, corks. And also you can have a shot up here. If you're a little creative outside the box, you can figure out how to do that. Jigger knot from Mark Genist. And this is definitely something I cannot recommend enough for my bar magician friends out there. This is fan freaking tastic. All right. So there we go. Uh, Jiggernaut is killer in the bar. Yes, it is. It is absolutely killer in the bars. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Genis for the W used to do this behind the bars. It's lazy. Mike knows. Mike knows. Uh, Jiggernaut got me my restaurant gig. It kills. Indeed. Oh, and Tom says, yes. Thank you, but a beautiful effect. Yes, I do, Jiggernaut. Well, awesome, man. You know the good stuff, Mr. Tom. Love it. <laughs> good stuff. All righty. Uh, so we, uh, like I mentioned a moment ago, we have hit our goal for tonight, which is cool for the 100 plus people on our free giveaway wheel. So let's go ahead and do a uh, our second giveaway for our freebies tonight. And while we're here, why don't we go ahead and give a quick hello to our Zoom room watching tonight. I see a couple new uh, names, Alex Saxon. How we doing, Alex? Um, I do believe behind me over here, uh, is so I thought I thought I saw George Schindler here earlier, but I think George might have popped up. Nicholas Lawrence has popped on. Good to see Mr. Nicholas. I think he's hanging out there behind the scenes. Good to see you, Mr. Nicholas. Hope all is well, my friend. Thank you again for joining us last week. Uh, Matt Morton is right there. Let's, there we go. All right. Uh, on fire with the donos tonight. Well, thank you, Corey, for being part of that. There we go. Thank you so much. All right. So let's do it to it. Our next free giveaway of the night coming up right about now. Here we go. And yes, hello to our Zoomers out there. <laughs> Here we go. 
Do it to it. Let's go. Yes, it is. That is great magic. Magic while you wait. We're good. I think we're good. No win. No win. Paul also uses it. I love it. You guys are using it. Uh, but our next free giveaway winner is Mr. Randy Shirley. Congratulations, Congratulations Randy. You are going to grab a $10 gift card to the All Things Magic Shop. You can use it however the heck you want. You could get some All Things Magic swag. You get a shirt. You could get some tricks, you could get a download, whatever the heck you want, it's up to you. All you need to do is drop us an email, uh, info at allthingsmagic.com. Yes, I love it when our friends are congratulating each other. We got Ray showing the love, Tyler Fergus, Ellis Cohen, Mr. Cram, all sending their love out there to Randy Shirley. Yes, no way, Randy Shirley, congrats, buddy. Indeed, I think I had to give him one more of these. We'll do a, uh, we'll give him a little applause this time. Going out there to Mr. Randy, my old buddy from North Carolina out there. We love Mr. Randy Shirley. Yes, we do. All right. So go ahead and reboot the wheel here. Get it ready for our bonus giveaway of the night. We've got to add a couple more friends that have just popped up, like this guy, Mr. Reader. How we doing, Mr. Reader out there? Yeah, as you hear. And Laz out there, Lazarus Benson, my old pal, magician and artist in the music world as well. Good to see you, Mr. Laz. Hope all is well with you, my friend. Good to see you. Thanks for popping on tonight. All righty. Good to see my friends popping on the Taco Tuesday for magicians. Always good to see them. All right. So uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you tonight on our uh, top three list is something that I know a lot of you uh, kind of got interested in because of one of our friends out there, our buddy, uh, Mr. Kevin Lawrencell, Kevin in the All Things Magic private group, which we are now at 3,500 members and growing. Uh, much love to Ron Jackson, our um, newly added moderator, helping us go through some of those people applying to be in the group. We literally have over 3,000 people trying to get into All Things Magic. So thank you to Ron for helping us get through those uh, people along the way. Uh, but I wanted to... Uh, let you know something. Uh, this was pretty funny, actually. Uh, the floating pin. Uh, but I wonder, I wonder how she's doing. <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> pretty, pretty good stuff there. Um, what was the thing I was going to show you? Kevin Lawrence Hill. So David Jonathan's new project, uh, Black Mirror, is damn good. He really knocked that out of the park. Um, He's talking about the uh, digital book test, wasn't too sure about it, but he absolutely uh, was loving the lotto trick. I think that's a lot of people's favorite is the lotto trick from David Jonathan's new project. And I actually found a full performance of the uh, lotto trick from the Black Mirror project to show you. So this is a full uncut version of this. And remember, this is only one of seven tricks taught on this project. I'm going to let you know right away, this is only for iPhone users. It only works on iOS. Um, so if you're using an Android, you're out of luck this time. But if you are an iPhone user, this is something you don't want to miss it. Uh, it's jam-packed. And here is a full look at the lotto prediction. Again, just one of the tricks from this new project. Do you believe that you can know something before it happens? Let's say... If you knew you were going to get into an accident, could you avoid taking that highway? Or if you knew who's going to be, let's say, the winner of the Super Bowl, maybe you can put a little extra money on your fantasy football. Do sure. you think? I'm being a little vague because I'm going to ask you to name things, not really using your critical or thinking analytical mind. You're just going to be using your gut feeling and see what happens when we just go with the flow. Okay. Sounds good. Well, let's give it a shot. I have something that I'm going to show you a little later here. It's really important. All right. But for now, we're going to be using two digit numbers. Let's make them up to 65. Okay. Okay. We're always going to use two digit numbers, but if you want like a five, you would say zero five and you'll see why that's going to make sense later. So name the first digit that comes to your mind. Three. Three. Put it right here. We're going to be naming a lot. So I'm going to write them down. That way we don't have to remember them. Makes sense. The next one. 14. 
14. All right, think of a color. And the first number that comes to your mind? Red, and then eight. There you go, okay. Perfect, you see how you're kind of not really knowing what's going on? Yeah. What's the next number? 31. 31, that's a beautiful number. And um, think of something that makes you feel happy. Mm, okay, got, got it. Got it, and name a number. 16. 16. And let's do one more. Now, in this one, think that you just have won something. What's the number that comes to your mind? 26. 26, okay, kind of similar to that 16. So you have 0, 3, 14, 0, 08, 31, 16, 20. Oh my God, those, I thought you were gonna get just a couple, but I think, let me see. Do you know what you just did? No. You literally just selected some random numbers, but not just random numbers. I was trying to get you to pick the actual numbers from the lottery ticket that I took a picture of. Let's open it up. And then right here, it should be a couple pictures down, as you can see right there. And you have 0, 03, no 14, way. 08, what? 31, 16, and 26. What? That's what happens when you go with the flow. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you either. That is the Black Mirror Project. Again, that's the lotto prediction. It really is that clean. And one of the things that Kevin mentioned in the group, again, this is someone that purchased this, not someone that just got a free copy. Uh, Kevin said that one of the best parts about the project is that the, the way that the phone is used is very well thought out. It doesn't feel out of place. Uh, it's justified. Um, because obviously these are the tricks they're using, you know, with the phone. So sometimes those could feel a little obvious, like when you pull the card from the phone that's floating around and you pull it out. This is used in a way that makes sense. And also uh, that's just one thing you can do with this project. So you do need an iPhone. I want to say it again. Unfortunately, this is not for Android friends, but it does have a lot of love uh, from people like Mike, Mark Kirstein. Uh, there's a lot of effects possible and the integrations really take it all to the next level. So yeah, this is really smart stuff and it will get you reactions kind of like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a book test. Uh, there's ways to reveal the wallpaper with the word that they just wrote down or they thought of. Um, and it's just a whole lot of fun. And it's not hard to do. I think it takes about 30 minutes to get everything kind of set up. But once you do, you can do any effects uh, that you want. So yes, it is only for iOS. That's correct, uh, Billy. It sure is. This is using tech in all the right ways. Indeed, Mike's got it, 100%. So uh, if you're looking for something fun, you can always have on you. Obviously, you, you can't go wrong um, with this. Uh, and uh, Scott says, these stars are for Ryan uh, Garber because he can't seem to buy them. So I must add Ryan Garber now to our giveaway winners tonight. So let me go ahead and add Ryan. Thank you for doing that, Scott. We got Ryan Garber added to our star supporters tonight. So there we go. Good stuff. All right. Uh, so yes, that is the Black Mirror Project. And it is also uh, available as a download so you can learn all this stuff tonight. Purchase it, get the files, get the info, and start playing with this right away. Forgot to mention that too. So yes, poor Android users, not going to work for you this time. So sorry. <laughs> uh, I was not gonna buy this until I saw this effect. Yeah, man, it's, it's the real deal. And you know me, I'm not gonna bullshit any of you about magic stuff just to get you excited, just to have you let down. I would, I would never do that. Uh, and the other thing I will never do is not thank you, say a thank you to the wifey for enchiladas on a freaking Taco Tuesday. Oh yeah. And that reminds me, what are you guys chowing down on tonight for Taco Tuesday? We are back on a Tuesday night. Mm, so freaking good. As I mentioned earlier last week, I was out doing a corporate gig and I've really enjoyed performing more and more as time goes on. So uh, it's good to be back on a Tuesday. All right. Uh, that looks good. Oh, it's so good, Mr. Masato. So freaking good. And yes, yummy is is the word, uh, 100%, 100%. Yes, yes, yes. So thank you, wifey. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, for the for the goodness for for the goodness. Uh, you had Subway, not quite tacos or enchiladas, but it'll work. Uh, I bought and ate twenty five dollars worth of Taco Bell. Holy crap, man! What the hell? <laughs> oh 
That's my funny. God, no way. The funny thing is, though, 25 bucks at Taco Bell doesn't go as far as it used to. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, just have fun. Oh, he's talking about Ryan. Yeah, man, well, thank you again to Scott for, for the love out there. Um, yeah, Taco Bell last night. Okay, that'll work. Close enough. Ken had spaghetti and meatballs, uh, which in the normal world would be Italian, but we'll say he had the, the taco version of, of those. And yeah, Taco Bell, that's like two tacos for 25 bucks. Is, yeah, yeah, it's crazy now how stuff has gotten so expensive, right? <laughs> All righty, friends. Uh, a little bit more news on the old magic side. I wanted to let you know about this too. This is finally... I think we mentioned this on Thursday, but not everyone was here because obviously it was a different show. Uh, this one, though, is finally back in stock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, MiniBook Pro. I know a lot of people were wanting to purchase this. The effect with the little laptop that ends up turning into the signed card. Not only do we have the MiniBook Pro back in stock, um, but we also have the refills for you. Um, back in stock as well. So if you needed those refills because you are going to give these cards out because not only does it end up looking like the laptop but it's also signed, they're going to want to keep these cards. So we do have the refills available for you. Get a whole deck of them for 15 bucks. So those are also now back in stock. This one was a lot of people, their pick of 2023 is one of their top favorite tricks of the year uh, and easy to see why when it happens in their hand, they're holding it long before the revelation ever happens and then you end up with this. Guys like this, they just absolutely lose their mind uh, when they when they see that. Uh, you guys are tempting me to end my fast. Oh no, don't don't do that. Don't let us be the reason you stop fasting, Mr. Sammy. That's no good. That is no good. <laughs> uh, so this is back in stock as well. Wanted to let you guys know about that. Um, let's see here on the page. We got some other stuff. We'll tell you more about that in a minute. Uh, where are we at with our giveaways? About 40%. So we're kind of slacking a little bit tonight, which is not a big deal. And yes, amazing trick. Uh, MiniBook Pro is it's fantastic. Good stuff. And yeah, it's a great giveaway as well. You have to give that away at the end, right? You have to do that. All right. So we are going to do our first Star Supporters giveaway of the night. Because uh, I don't know if we're going to end up hitting our big goal. So we will do one of our smaller giveaways for you uh, right about now. So we'll go ahead and do it to it. And I think I'm pretty caught up so far on our free, uh, not the free, but the star supporters tonight. So real quick, I am going to go through and give some love to our star supporters of the night. We have Derek Bumpus. Mr. Jake Rober, the birthday boy. Uh, Scott R. Smith, who's also been a minch and he's helped out some other friends out there. Uh, Mr. Jim Cox, we've got Josh Huff, my old buddy, Doug James, my first magic mentor. Uh, we've got Dwayne Winstead, we've got York Spades, Sammy Hoxa, also dropping in a few more stars here. Uh, Mr. Joe Berman, good to see you, my friend. Glenn Hendry, John Frickin Shack, the Shack Attack. Ryan Garber, we got Brian Cornwall, Billy Effner, Peter Nile, Eric Elmore, John Carter, Mr. Wheel. Let me just make that uh, Good to see you, Chris. Larry Colombo. Uh, we've got Corey Van Vallen, Big Lou. Ray Coleman, Sammy Hoxa, and Mark Buffett so far. We have all of you as our star supporters at the moment. And Jason R. Smith coming on in hot with a 1,000 star dono. So we'll add Jason R. Smith in the house too. Thank you very much, Mr. Jason and Mr. Cram. I don't think I put Mr. Cram on there. We'll add you right here, Mr. Cram. And thank you for your support, Mr. Cram. All right. And thank you again to Jason. All right. Uh, welcome, Alex. Come hang every Tuesday. Yes, we are here every Tuesday night. Uh, what we got here from Alex. Uh, good stuff. This is my first time joining one of these streams. Glad to have found this group. Well, Alex, it's a pleasure to have you here. And thanks for being part of my show. Yes. Uh, Mr. Jim Cox, I think I had you at the top. Let me just double check that. Uh, Mr. Cox, got you right there. You are all set, my friend. Thank you for the donut. All right. Uh, we've got Scott Arsene. If we can get to 20,000 stars, I'll fill in the gap. So, friends, if we want to get to that big $300 giveaway of the night, we are about 6,000 stars away. About 6,000 is some change away. So, if we end up hitting that, 
Scott R. Smith's going to fill in the blanks. We can get to that big giveaway of the night. So if you guys want to do that, Scott's being very kind, very gracious to help us tonight to hit that goal. Uh, and yes, I love to see some friends uh, inviting new friends here and also saying hello, like Ryan Garber. Got some love coming in from Peter Nile as well. Welcome in, Mr. Alex, to our group and to the show. All right. So friends, I think we are going to go ahead and do our first giveaway of the night for our star supporters. Thank you, my friends. And of course, good luck to all of you. Here we go. Enchilada time. Enchilada time. Looks like we have a new friend out there with a win. That would be Mr. Larry Colombo. Congratulations. Congratulations. Going out to Mr. Larry. Now, this is when it gets really fun for friends like Alex who are here for the first time. Now, Alex normally would be like, oh, that's cool. Larry won a prize. However, around here on Taco Tuesday, we don't just do that. We also give people a chance to press their luck and go for even bigger prizes. That's right. On our bonus wheel, we have prizes that go up to over $100. We also have a um, big spin bonus, which allows them to keep the prize he's already won and win the additional prize. So we have ways for people to take this $25, $30 prize and bump it up to over $100. I think one of the things is worth $140. So we have a chance for people to press it, like Ryan says to do, Ray says to do, or he can play it safe and Larry can keep the prize that he already won. As they always say, um, if you don't go big, you can't win big, right? So sometimes you got to go for it, and we will see what Larry decides to do. So Larry, if you let us know here, uh, and of course some people, they watch the show, they have to run for a minute, maybe come back. So give Larry a few more moments here, and if he doesn't respond, uh, we will see what he wants to do. And it looks like Larry says, I have chicken, I won't press it. Fair enough. So Larry is going to play it safe tonight, which there is no problem with that. So Mr. Larry, do me a solid, drop us an email, info at allthingsmagic.com, and we will get you a prize sent out to you. I think this one's worth 25 bucks. It is coming your way, and we will have you hooked up, and be sure to uh, claim it before next week's show, as always, uh, otherwise the, the, uh, the prize is, is no good. So. Congratulations one more time going out to Larry Colombo, our first Star Supporters winner of the night. Congratulations! And we will leave you on there just because. All right, so we'll come back to that uh, a little bit later in the show. All right, so there we go. And we are now at 14,000 of our stars. As Scott R. Smith said, if we end up at 20, he's going to fill in the gap. So let's see what we can do with those stars. All right. Now we have another trick that I wanted to tell you about. This one is now uh, available in another way too. I touched, this, I touched on this loosely on Thursday when we did our interview with Nicholas Lawrence. And now there is something new to tell you about the Prime Box. Now this is the version I'm holding here, which is the large version. Uh, this is the large version. This is now the small version, which will start shipping on Friday. The difference between the two is this, and this is what I wanted to show you tonight with the Prime Box, and I'll show you what it is if you haven't actually had a chance to see it yet. Um, but this is now the options you get is the large version and the small version on the other side. The small version is the newer one that just arrived yesterday. Uh, and here's a closer look at the size difference. You can see here the bigger box, and then you have the smaller box on top of it. So the large version is what we were currently carrying. The smaller one is coming in. And again, we'll ship out later this week. I freaking love this thing. Uh, and Tony says he just got this. Yeah, it's just so freaking good. Mr. Cram says he ordered his last week. Good pick, Mr. Cram. Uh, this one, if you guys haven't seen it, allows you to do the old production box, but with an Amazon box. And there's a couple of things to really like about it. So basically you come out, take your stuff out, you then show the box empty, which is really cool. And then you can start producing stuff from the box. You could literally make uh, shoes appear, you could have shirt appear, you could have other stuff appear. 
best part is this doesn't look like a magic prop at all. Uh, and look at the amount of things that he's pulling out of the box. Uh, you got the little coupon, little voucher thing. You've got some other stuff. You can get a whole lot of stuff inside the big box. Uh, but it just makes so much freaking sense. And the best part right there is that when you're done with the productions, the box is 100% examinable. The method that's used um, actually is in play when you take one of the items out. I'm not going to reveal anything, but it is so damn smart because you're cleaning up in front of the spectators. So at the end, the box is totally examinable. Um, something else that George popped in the other day and let me know is that I didn't think that once the box is put together, you could then break it down to transport it. You actually can. I missed that part on the instructional, so I wanted to highlight that, is that when you are traveling and you don't want a box this big, you want it to pack flat, you can totally have this pack flat and then just put the tape on the box at the end to have it back up together again and you can perform this again. So this looks so freaking good. It was sold out at Blackpool on the first day. And again, you can see here the small version and the big version there. Show it empty and then you can produce things uh, there. Uh, love the fact that it looks like a real Amazon box, right? That is the best part. And for me, that is what makes this just totally super, super smart. So here's Prime Box. We got the link in the chat for you. I think that's the link for the small box, but we do have the other one here for you too. Uh, if you want to click through to get to the large version, just look at that on our website. So uh, freaking love it. And it is very, very smart. And one more time, here's a look at the size difference between the two. And yes, I do want to say, the stickers are included. The fragile sticker, you got the Amazon sticker, there's a DHL, there's a USPS, uh, and there's actually like a shipping label as well included uh, with that too. And the other cool thing is they, as a bonus, they've also included like a, a $30 gift card to purchase the AnyWeb app. So it's a way to force an object that you might find on Amazon that you can then reveal from the box. So they give you a little coupon a uh, $30 coupon to get that. So I think you might have to spend 20 bucks then to get the app, which is usually 50 bucks, um, which is great too. So anyway, that is Prime Box. And again, the small version is what's new this week. And there is the large version is uh, available as well. Okay. Also want to remind you that when you're checking out with this, you'll have a bonus product pop up for a sale. There's a secret $10 off sale tonight on a product that I think a lot of you will like. So when you're checking out with this, you get to that checkout spot, you hit it, it'll pop up for you with the special $10 off for a very cool product. So if you want to see what it is, go ahead and act like you're buying something and you'll see it pop up and it's only available for tonight. So that is something else. Uh, it does travel flat. Yes, it does. Uh, you can make it flat to travel with. So there you go. Uh, so close to the Amaze box and spelling with different uses, a thousand percent. Amaze box is freaking awesome too. The craft version we just got. You guys have never seen that. It's too freaking good. Yeah. Uh, so good stuff. All righty. So that is another little thing I wanted to share with you. Hi, my friends. Okie uh, dokie. And does, does Jeff Bezos get a royalty? I don't think so. <laughs> he doesn't need any more money. He doesn't need, a, he doesn't need another penny from any of us. Uh, and thank you, Renee, for the love on the night, on the, uh, the show tonight. I'm going to put you on our free prize will as, as well. All right. And Joel Spence, uh, I'll get you added over there too. Joel Spence, I don't think I had you on our free giveaway. Thank you, Eric, for the 200 stars. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All righty. Mm. Lemonade. The lemonade. The lemonade. Uh, these actually just came in too. I wanted to mention this quickly. Uh, for our friends that have purchased the bottle from Adrian Vega, the trick that he did on Fullest, had a lot of people asking about the, the bottle, which it's not something you could give away as a souvenir. And some people have wanted to do that. So I did want to let you know that the ungimmicked bottle is now here. Here is like a refill. So it does have the bottle in here and the, the pills in here. So when you take the signed card out, you can do a quick switch to end up now with a totally examinable bottle, which is great for TV spots or special occasions where you're doing something for a high-end client. Uh, these are now available to the ungimmick bottle with the pills inside. We also have these for you now too. And one other thing that I've been having a total blast with, which I don't think I have here, but I want to share this with you because a lot of people don't even know these exist. 
uh, because they were really, really... There was a time when Bicycle didn't want these made. Uh, and these are the ultimate Mark decks. This is the deck that I use a lot that a lot of people don't even know that I, that I use. Uh, but the markings on these are fantastic. You can see here, I'm going to blow up this image here. You can see the markings here and here. And then you can see the next one, the Eight of Clubs, my favorite card. Uh, this is the Queen of Hearts here. Uh, and it's on both ends. So it's on the, the right, the, the top left, bottom right. So no matter which way the cards are, you're going to see the mark. Um, these are freaking awesome, awesome cards. Uh, we don't have this listed on the website yet because I wanted to take a look through it myself. But there's also a companion book for this. We'll list it on the site soon. But this is a great book. There's, there's a killer, few killer ideas in here from Gate and Bloom and others that uh, I've been loving this a lot. But this deck is phenomenal. Uh, you got Chris Kinner saying, uh, should change every magician's life. Don't buy one by 10. Um, you can buy as many as you want, but we got them. Uh, Darwin Ortiz has some love on this. If you're ever looking for a really fun Mark deck, um, this is the way to go. And you might notice a familiar voice in the, the trailer. I'll just play a moment of this. I'll skip it. Art without ever seeing its face. A quick glimpse is all you need, and you have all the information to perform a real miracle. It makes it seem like real magic is possible. So I did the VO on this too, so that's not too shabby. Uh, yeah, that's the ultimate Mark deck. Got them in red. Uh, can't seem to get them in blue right now, but these are freaking awesome. I love these. So wanted to mention that too as we are scooting along uh, tonight. Uh, 5,000 stars will have the big drawing, or as the UK people say, drawing. The big drawing. <laughs> uh, yes, we are 51% there, so we are getting close to hitting that 20,000 mark, and then we'll have the help from Scott to get across the finish line on that, which is cool. All righty. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention to you is this little bit of magic news on that side. Of okay. Magic, magic news. For you, uh, Ben Seidman is an old pal of mine. 18 years ago, we were working on the Mind Freak television series together. And Ben recently did a thing with Vanity Fair. And this is a little kind of like teaser of him. Uh, this is not for cheating at cards. This is, uh, this is from my physical therapist. <laughs> is anyone buying this? My name is Ben Seidman. I'm a magician, pickpocket, and sleight of hand artist. This is my second Vanity Fair video breaking down magic and sleight of hand in film and TV. But people have a lot of questions, so today all will be revealed. Let's get into it. Uh so Ben Seidman, Vanity Fair uh, part two, as he, as he mentioned, he's done another one of these in the past. Uh, but we have the video for you right here on the All Things Magic website. Uh, magician reviews, sleight of hand in movies and TV shows. And it is a full-blown, how many minutes? 15 minutes of goodness. And Ben also performs some cool stuff on there too. Uh, so have a look at that if, if you haven't watched it yet. Support our buddy, uh, Ben Seidman. And it is a really fun watch. So if you haven't watched it yet, check it out. Uh, that was a fun video. Ben is awesome. Sure is. Uh, Jason R. Smith dropping in some more stars. Thank you, Jason. Uh, ben is the best, great guy, great performer. If you ever get a chance to see a show or meet him, do it. Indeed. Eric Elmore dropping in 5,000 freaking stars. Oh my God. Oh my God. What the hell? Oh my God. No <laughs> way. You guys are the best. Thank you very, very much for your support tonight. Uh, we had a friend say, uh, I send some stars, but I don't see it. Renee, we'll put the link in the chat for you if you'd like to donate some stars as well. Uh, but thank you again to Big Dono, Eric Elmore. Uh, so yes, check out Ben Seidman right there. Uh, good stuff from him. And don't forget, on the, on the, not the daily, there's not always magic news, but we pretty much almost daily or bi-daily every other day, uh, we are posting magic news, not just magic tricks. So we are keeping you updated with the la latest magic news as well. And tomorrow, come back to find the, uh, appearance from Matt Franco on the Kelly Clarkson show. That'll be on here, right in the place of me and Nicholas. We'll get bumped over for Matt Franco, but 
Wouldn't have it any other way. Matt Franco is one of the best. So, uh, What is our number needed now, Luke? Below, it looks like we're at 70%. Let me take a peek now behind the scenes. Um, it looks like we are at 20,994, which is pretty much what this is. So we are about 9,100 something, I think. And thank you, Josh, helping us get even closer. Uh, so now we're at 21,000, about 22, so about 8,000 to go for the big giveaway. And thank you, my friends, for showing your support. It does allow us to do these giveaways on the regular. Otherwise, it just wouldn't happen. So thank you, my friends, for um, helping us to, to do that. We appreciate it a lot. Uh, Scott R. Smith coming in with a big old 9,000 stars. Oh, my good Lord. Oh, my God. Puts us nice in very much over the top on that. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Mike's asking, what's Vegas up to now? Or I think I know we're playing right now, so let me see what the Vegas Golden Knights are looking like. We are winning four to one over the Nashville Predators. So we're doing okay, four to one. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do our big giveaway here coming up shortly. Uh, so thank you very, very much. Uh, that is good, good stuff. All right, and we have to do our bonus giveaway for our 100 people plus on the prize wheel. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Then we'll do the recap, and then we will scoot on out of here. Uh, let me see if I had any other little news, though, for you. Uh, little Nicholas Lawrence love again. This was him. Um, we posted this in the All Things Magic group, too. This is him with Jeffrey Tam, our other buddy, doing some magic for some friends out with Jeffrey um, over dinner, it looks like. So have a look at that. It is in the group, and it's just fun watching Nicholas around real people, kind of just rocking them with a whole bunch of impromptu crazy stuff. He does ring magic. He does card magic. Uh, he does a lot of really, really fun stuff, and he is just one of the best, but he's also one of my favorite people. I love what Nicholas does, and I love the way he does it. So I wanted to give Nicholas a little more love uh, along the way. And if you missed our chat again with Nicholas on last Thursday, have a look at the replay. Check it out on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe while you're there. And speaking of Nicholas as well, uh, I also want you guys to do not, do not forget to have a look at his website, nicholaspresents.com. Uh, we are a huge, huge proponent of supporting your favorite creators directly, if you can. Obviously, we are a magic company. We are doing this as a uh, you know, full-blown thing. We're a company. It's how we make money. But we can't not tell you to support our friends, too. Um, you know, if you can, like things like Bangerang. Obviously, he said last week it's out of stock. You can get it from us. Um, but Nicholas is a great guy. And even if you don't purchase anything from him, sign up to his email list. And you'll be the first to hear about some of his new stuff. You know, he's just a great, great friend and one of my favorite creators out there in the magic world. So that's what we do. We support each other. You know, we talked a lot about that too when we were having our chat. So don't forget to support your friends along the way. All righty. Uh, I've been working on anniversary hearts. Glad I got the refills on that. Yeah, you definitely want to have refills for that because people are going to want to keep those cards for sure. And speaking of those kind of tricks, I still can't tell you enough good things about Royal Couple. I use this all the time. Uh, you get 50 plus of these. I think I've gone through about half of them already. This is the effect where at the end, the cards are joined together. They're signed on the back. So it's different from anniversary waltz with that. But at the end, they are holding hands and they get to keep that as a souvenir. And I love this a lot. I use it every freaking week, all the damn time. I actually have one of my decks that's got the cellophane on it, and I have one of these on the back of it ready to go. The handling is easy. Everything you need is, is here, and this is like 30 bucks, I think. You get all these cards and more. I love this trick. It's one of my top picks from last year. Um, and people will keep the cards. Um, I actually did this for a, uh, a celebrity and his wife recently. It's part of a Netflix thing I was doing. I'll tell you more about that when it's out. They were losing their shit when I did this, and the wife actually had tears. So uh, I definitely use that one a lot. I, I love it. Uh, Real Couple is so easy and fun. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And yes, Nicholas is great inside and out. Yeah, he's just a great dude. Can't say enough good stuff about him. All right, friends. We did hit our 100 people plus. So let's go ahead and do another 
free giveaway for you. That is something that we're going to do tonight. Again, we're not doing free giveaways all the time, but when we do them, let's celebrate and have fun together, right? So let's see who is going to win uh, next. All right, we're going to mix up the wheel a little bit. And thank you to our friends for helping us hit that 100 people plus mark so we can do a big giveaway for you. Not, not a big one, but a bonus giveaway for you tonight. So let's let the whammy go by. And let's see what we can do. Here we go. Right. Cheers, friends. Just a little bit. Much love to Nicholas Lawrence. He's out there tonight. And these enchiladas are freaking good. And our bonus giveaway is going to go out to Kevin. Um, he, oh, God, I'm going to butcher that. Kevin P. <laughs> Kevin P. I respectfully will not try to pronounce your last name. Congratulations going out to uh, Kevin, who's a, one of our new winners around Congratulations. here. Congratulations. Congratulations. And Kevin, we're going to throw you a $10 gift card as well. You can use that at the All Things Magic Shop. Get whatever the heck you want, but you got to hit us up to get it. That is the email address right there, info at allthingsmagic.com. We will get you all hooked up, and you can enjoy a little mini shopping spree with us with that. All righty, so there we go. Congratulations coming in from the fam. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, spelled your name wrong for emphasis. Yeah, did I, did I misspell it too? Did I really? It's possible. That is possible. <laughs> So there we go, a little bonus giveaway tonight for one of our friends on a Taco Tuesday for Magicians. Okie dokie. Uh, don't forget, you can support us, not just on Tuesday nights. We are, and hopefully we'll start to be your go-to spot for magic because we do curate it. It's all hand-picked. We take out the hard work for you, so you do not have to go looking for what's good. We only supply you with the good. And tonight, you might have missed what we talked about on our top three magic tricks. Let's do a recap of those. These were our top three magic tricks. Hold up. Recap time. Three, two, one, let's, go. let's do it to it. Let's let you guys know what we are talking about tonight. All righty, friends. It is now time to check out our top three magic tricks from this week. A few of my favorites. Starting off with an F-bomb approved perception. This allows you to borrow five different objects. You make a prediction. You nail it every single time. It is that good. This is repeatable. This is easy to do. The gimmick does the work for you. And the reset is instant. You do it in front of your spectators. I absolutely love this one a lot. F-bomb approved, and you know that means something around here. So that is number one. Uh, number two tonight was the Perro Verde from Mario Lopez. It is still in stock. We got a few left, so that is good news. Because when these are gone, we don't have any more for a while. Uh, this is the card warp with a really fun kicker ending that you won't see coming because there's multiple kicker endings. And it is super easy to do as well. So that is cool. Uh, that was number uh, two this week. And I'm looking for number three, which is right here, the Black Mirror Project from David Jonathan. Magic with a phone. Uses iPhone only. Sorry, Android friends. Uh, there's a lot of really fun things you can do with this. And we showed you a full uncut performance of a lotto prediction that looks really, really good. And you can watch that back on the replay too. But instant download. You get this right now. If you order it, you start learning it. There's not just a lotto effect, seven different tricks on here. That's one of them uh, on this project. And a little follow-up tonight, a little bonus thing. The Prime Box, the small version is now also uh, available, shipping, starting to ship this Friday. We do have the large versions of these in stock now, if you want to grab the, the large one, but the smaller version is currently a pre-sale item everywhere, not just here. And those are going to be available uh, officially to ship on Friday. So there you go. That is one of my favorites for sure. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
So that is our little recap on the magic side uh, for you. So I hope you enjoy those facts. All right. Um, so close. Yes, we had so many friends getting close on the giveaways. You just, you never know. <laughs> All righty. So it is time to do that big old giveaway tonight. We're going to do a big giveaway for one of our lucky star supporters tonight. Uh, as it goes without saying, we could not do this without your help, without your support. And that support, of course, thanks to all of you. Right here on our list, our list of names. Those are the people that help support what we do to allow us to go the extra mile and give away over $300 worth of magic right now for one of you. Thank you so much. And a big thank you to Scott R. Smith for putting us over the top on this. Eric Elmore, another big help there. Uh, let me make sure I got Eric on there. Yep, he is there. And Scott needs another entry as well because Scott was uh, donating more than the others. There we go. All righty. So I think we are ready. Uh, I came in late. Better late than never, Mr. Richard Zach. Uh, let me take a quick peek here. I think I got you on here. Uh, did I miss you? I might have missed you, Mr. Zach. All right. Well, as you right here below is Shaq. Shaq and Zach. <laughs> there we go. Richard Zach. And thank you for your support, Mr. Zach. It is appreciated very much. All right. So it is now time, my friends, it is now time to do our big giveaway of the night. Uh, what is this for Mike Mayo? As of the fourth quarter of 2023, Android has a 70% market share of the global mobile operating system market. Well, Apple's iOS has a 29%. Why would you only release iOS? I honestly think, Michael, it's the, it's, from what I understand, I'm on an app developer. I believe that uh, Android is very finicky and you have to customize the app for every type of phone that you can get. Whereas iOS only works for iPhone. There's only iPhones that you use. I think Android's problem is there's so many different phones that if, the, if you release an Android app, it has to work for all the phones. And then the updates, you have to update it for all the phones that it works for. I think that's the problem. But that's just what I have heard. <laughs> so anyway, let's do it to it. Let's see who our uh, big winner is going to be tonight on this week's show. All right, friends. One more bite. <laughs> because 30% of the magicians are... That much cooler now. There you go, Eric. <laughs> you alrighty, friends. Good luck. Here we go. And our big winner tonight is going to be Glenn Henry. Congratulations! Congratulations to Glenn. You are not winning a Toyota Tacoma. That's just the ad that's popping up, so don't get excited. I'm not sending you the keys to a new truck. Uh, you're going to win a $300 bundle that includes close-up magic and minimalism, a mixture of the two. You're going to get that just for being one of our um, star supporters tonight. So thank you very, very much for supporting the show tonight. We definitely appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. And Mr. Glenn Henry, uh, you need to drop us an email, info at allthingsmagic.com, to claim your big giveaway win of the night. Uh, we'll get your info. We'll get that shipped out to you. And please don't wait until next week, because if you wait, then your prize is no longer good. And as a reminder, please do give our team a day or two to respond. We, we always take care of what we do, so we appreciate your patience all of our friends, whether you're emailing us about products, your orders, we always take care of you. Just give us that extra little bit of time and we will have you all sorted out quickly. All right. I do want to tell you a quick funny story before we go. This is something that uh, my the team told me about and, and I couldn't believe it um, because we do have people that help us out with our customer support. You know, I'm only a, a one-man show and so we have some great people helping us out. I wanted to tell you about this is the first time someone has threatened to sue us. And I want to tell you why. I think it's hilarious, actually. I think this is really damn funny. Uh, the first time someone has said, I'm going to sue you, it's all because of this trick. This trick has been a bit of a bitch. <laughs> uh, 
this is funny to me. Charge card. We are a magic company. We are a magic shop. All Things Magic is the name of our company. We are a registered company. We are trademarked. So it is no surprise that we sell magic tricks. However, it seems that our Google searches are just off the hook and we're getting all these non-magicians wanting to buy charge card. Uh, and so as a reminder, I know you guys know this, because uh, this does work for iPhone and Android. We were just talking about Androids. Someone for 20 bucks thought they were buying this technology that actually charges your phone. Uh, so there are now quite a few things we had to the side. The card does not actually charge your phone. Before you read any further, this does not actually charge your phone. It is non-refundable and all that. Uh, I think it's freaking funny that people actually blame us. Even though we have that stuff on there, they get the thing and go, I don't want this. I want to send it back. And we don't do that because not only do we sell a product, we sell the secret. This is a secret. This is a trick. And while it looks good and while it's an illusion, it is not real. Um, I wanted to share that with you because to me, it tickled me that for once someone wanted to sue us. And the even funnier part to me is all, it was all over $20. $20. <laughs> now, are they actually doing that? No, they're not. They're not actually doing that. But I thought it was funny that they threatened that all over a magic trick known as the charge card. So it is great. It does look really, really convincing but it does not actually charge your phone. Um, yeah, so it's great. And it is a damn good trick. Yes, it is. And see, Matt, you get it, right? Um, I would have loved to be a fly on the wall witnessing dudes reacting to seeing a magic trick in the mail, respect the art, right? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's pretty damn funny. Uh, Mayo thinks so. Uh, some old lady thought she was getting a steal, right? Uh, yeah, so... You know, and, and someone yesterday actually wrote us saying, that's a rip, because we're like, we're not going to refund you. You have the trick, watch the video to tell you how to do the illusion. And they're like, oh, what a rip. I'm like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's something funny to me that happened recently. So it's always funny to share the, the back, a little bit of the behind the scenes of what goes on around here, because uh, it, it's all kinds, just just all kinds. Uh, 10 bucks, there's a long Reddit post about it. I want to go find it. If you guys find a Reddit post about all things magic, charge card, doesn't work, let us know. We'll send you a prize. How about that? <laughs> we'll send you a prize. So anyway, uh, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you, my friends, for uh, being here tonight. Um, maybe they'll become a magician off of Hoaxia, right? Uh, some people's kids. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Just, just funny. So uh, there we go, friends. It is time for me to go. And that's what we're going to do right now. So we'll catch you next week. Uh, Taco Tuesday for Magicians, a guest, maybe a show. Yes, next Tuesday, 8.30 Eastern time to do it all over again. And thank you, friends in the lounge for being here. Uh, good to see you guys out there. And we will catch you right here next week. And thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you, Justin Teeman. Appreciate you, sir. One should never underestimate the stupidity that exists out there, right? right. <laughs> oh, man. You got it, Ellis Cohen. Thanks for being here, buddy. Y'all have the best week possible, and I'll see you on the other side. No cure for stupid. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, just a Karen. Trying to quick charge her phone to make more complaints? TikTok! <laughs> oh, man. Enjoy April Fool's. Oh, yeah, it's coming up. And don't forget about the uh, Justin Wilman new special coming out April Fool's on April 1st. You better be on next Tuesday or I'm going to sue you, Luke. Oh, boy. Well, with that said, I should go. So, good night, everybody. See you. Thank you, and good night.